hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple but cool looking kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about kinetic typography then don't forget to check out my udemy course kinetic typography masterclass So as always we are in after effect let's create new composition we will name it as main animation as always we do and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration 30 background color is black and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection now press ctrl n to create another composition and height i am going to choose 100 and let's name this comp as text animation and hit ok then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will lock this layer then select our text tool and we will type our text i am going to type kinetic typography okay now select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this now over here go to the character menu right now i have chosen this stroke but if you want then you can choose this white color for this text and let's delete this stroke for this layer okay then select this and hit ctrl d and select this uppermost layer and let's make this yellow and let's hide this now i'm going to uh, animate this layer and for this layer i'm going to select this fill and i'll delete it and i'll choose stroke color white and i'm going to choose one pixels now select this and press p for position create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around one second create another keyframe over here then go to the start and let's move this over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now at this point i'm going to still enable this layer over here then go to the animate menu and we are going to choose opacity let's select make this opacity zero so we'll get something like this now go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start then go to around 2.10 frames and let's make this 100 or uh, let's go to around 2.20 frames like this okay then i'll go somewhere around over here in middle of these two keyframes then let's minimize this animator then select this text go to the animate and choose opacity again so we will get another animator too and now reduce the opacity again like this then go to the range selector and you can use this end value initially zero and create one keyframe at the start and let's go somewhere around over here and let's decrease this start value over here so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay so hit u now so we'll get something like this now select all of these keyframes and choose f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see first we will get this then we will get this then go to around three seconds i'm going to select this uh, layer over here create one keyframe at position then go to around four second and we will bring this downwards okay like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here so if you see we will get this this and then this and then this now uh, what we need to do over here we as you guys know that we have two keyframes of uh, two animators in range selector then at last and uh, which means at this point let's zoom in a little bit and let's go to properly at four second and let's move this keyframe over here now create one keyframe at range selector over here and over here then go to the start again create one keyframe at range selector over here and over here like this now alt click on the stopwatch type loop out expression on it select this loop out expression hit ctrl c to copy alt click and paste this over here so if you see this animation we will get something like this so we will get this animation continuously 
now over here i'm going to select both of these layers i'll press ctrl shift c and i'm going to name it as let's say text like this okay now select this layer and hit ctrl d three times or four times so you can get this kind of stuff and now uh, go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect to apply we will, uh, we will get red color select this again fill effect apply choose blue color select this apply this fill effect and choose green color like this okay and then hit page down button one time select this third layer move this over here again one time move this over here again one time move this over here so now if you see this animation we will get something like this and select all of these three layers and make sure to choose screen so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation over here like this okay so we'll get something like this now let's go somewhere around over here select all of these three layers and hold alt open bracket to trim this up to this go to the start and let's move this over here so if you see this animation we will get continuous stuff like this now let's go to the main animation and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window select this text animation and let's move this over here and if you see we will get this kind of animation now press ctrl k to open the project settings and we are going to choose white color over here like this now select this text layer go to the character uh, not character menu but align tab and choose uh, align top so it will align over here and over here you will get this option known as snapping so make sure to enable that and after that zoom in and hit ctrl d go over here and let's bring this downwards again hit ctrl d bring this downwards like this again hit ctrl d so basically we need to create duplicates then if you want select all of this four hit ctrl d let's bring all of them at the top and let's move them from here to here again hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move all of them from here to here like this okay and let's select this last one because this is out of this composition so we'll delete that and select all of them by hitting ctrl a and with the help of arrow keys uh, first of all let's make this fit and with the help of arrow keys we will try to adjust them like this okay so now if you see this we will get this animation like this now i want their animation to be one by one so uh, let's uh, select this 11th layer which is at the top i want this animation should start first so what i'm going to do i'll hit page down button two times and i'll move this over here and i'll follow this procedure for all of them like this okay so we will get uh, this animation something like this and then select all of them by hitting ctrl a hold alt open bracket to trim this out up to this go over here and let's move this over here like this okay so we will get something like this now let's go to the text animation and we will disable this i mean we will uh, unlock i mean hide, unhide this hide this black layer over here and now press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's move this at the backwards go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and simply double click to apply let's increase the contrast totally up to this and increase the brightness totally up to something like this now alt click on this evolution tab and type time into 500 so we'll get this kind of extra background like this okay now let's select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and we are going to name it as text like this and go to the effect and presets panel and over here if you want this is just an extra step if you are happy with this output then that is also okay but uh, i'm going to add one extra step over here over here you will get this option known as 12 if you double click to apply it and if you change this angle you will get this kind of stuff okay and then you can increase the radius of that also so you can twist this animation like this okay so i'm going to choose radius up to 30 only like this and let's choose angle 45 
so you will get something like this and if you want you can select this hit ctrl d and you can move this layer over here hit ctrl d you can move this layer over here also so you can create duplicates on multiple times like this and otherwise uh, if you are okay with this one then that is also okay then you can select this text layer you can create one keyframe at angle hit u then as you guys know that the my looping point is at four seconds so i'll hit n over here and i'll create another keyframe over here and in middle of that which is mean at two uh, instead of 45 i'm going to make it minus 45 and now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so now if you see this animation we will get something like this okay like this uh, so uh, then you can alt click on this stopwatch and you can type loop out expression also like this uh, and then you can increase this duration so now you will get this animation continuously okay and if you want to loop it out four seconds then you can do that also but then you have to remove this stuff over here because and you have to add only simple black background so then you will get this animation continuously in the form of loop only for four seconds and then suppose if you want to add fractal noise then you have to increase this duration okay so this is how you can create this kind of typographic animation